Teddy, go. Yes. Um, the big idea is that acids release hydrogen ions. And I'm wanting to show you in this clip that a hydrogen ion can have three names, but it's the same thing. If we go back to drawing a hydrogen atom, if we did that, we would get our information from the periodic table, the atomic number, which gives us the number of protons, which is equal to the number of electrons in a new, uh, neutral atom, and the atomic mass. Uh, this number will give us protons and electrons, and we subtract the two numbers to give the number of neutrons. And here, one minus one is zero. So a normal hydrogen atom doesn't have any neutrons, and in its nucleus, there is just one proton, and around that nucleus is circulating one electron, a very simple atom. When we make a hydrogen ion, an ion meaning that we've now charged the particle, and we've charged it by removing an electron. If we remove an electron from a hydrogen atom, all that's left is that lone proton. So straight away, I've shown the connection between a hydrogen ion and a proton. They're the same by nature of the fact that the hydrogen atom is so simple, that once we give it a charge and remove its electron, there's nothing else left except a proton. To get our third term though, we need to know that that's not just created in isolation. Normally our reactions happen in water. And to understand the next part of it, we need to draw the electron dot formula for water. So I remind you that it is the outside electrons that we represent in the electron dot formula. So four oxygen at six, and here are at six represented with blue crosses. And the spot here, if we just go back one here, uh, these are two lone pairs, and that the, um, each of the hydrogens in H2O are bringing one electron along, so that the oxygen atom is happy, it sees eight electrons by sharing those two with that hydrogen atom, and those two with this one and each of the hydrogens is happy because it sees a full shell of two like the inert helium. So that's the water molecule. Now, those two spots there are called lone pairs because they've got two electrons and there's nothing attached to them. But it is a, a, a concentration of negative charge. So when you've got this chap, a positive charge, in water, it's going to naturally want to go and sit on one of those spots. And it's going to then form something that has three hydrogen atoms and an oxygen together. And it's going to carry the original charge, which is a positive one. And it's that species that we write as H3O plus one, or we represent it in the electron dot formula in this way, with the overall thing having the plus one charge, that we refer to as the hydronium ion. So just to recap, this was to make two points. Acids release hydrogen ions. A hydrogen ion is an atom with its electron removed. In this case, what's left is just a proton. That proton, because of its positive charge, will sit on the water molecule and make the hydronium ion. Hydrogen ion is the same thing as a proton. It's the same thing as a hydrogen ion. Thank you for listening. How was that?